Hey folks, Dave here in Studio A tonight, playing some Momentum Football. This is going to be a true raw cards and dice experience here, as uh, there's no fancy uh, you know, spreadsheets, there's no overlay scoreboard. This is just me on the table playing the game, and uh, I'm going to try to show you how I play this game. I may or may not make some mistakes in this game, but I'm going to show you how I play it. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. And um, so, look, first of all, let me show you what's going on. So today we're playing the 76 Buccaneers and the 76 Bengals. This is actually game five of the season in 76 for the Buccaneers. In game one, it was close, but they lost to the Oilers 17 to 10. In game two, they had a 30 to 10 lead in the fourth quarter. 30 to 10 lead over the Chargers in Tampa Bay. And San Diego scores three straight touchdowns to win 31 to 30. Uh, at home against Buffalo, they got crushed 34 to 13, which actually should was closer in real life. And then the crazy game here is the Buccaneers at the Baltimore Colts in '76. The Colts were really good, and Tampa Bay led 26-25. They kicked the field goal with 4:20 left to leave 26-25, and the Colts, needing two fourth down conversions, finally scored on their last play of the game. A touchdown run to win it 32-26. to 26. So the Buccaneers are 0-4. Now, the results have been strange compared to real life, okay? Um, but but I, I, I will say that um, it's fun, and that's what matters. And they're still 0-4, okay? They're still 0-4. Uh, but this, is, this has been really fun. And so as far as, you know, them not getting the accurate scores as in real life, I'm willing to forgive that a little bit if I'm having fun, and I'm having fun. So, let's set up the score sheet now. And again, you won't be able to see much here, but I'll try to describe it the best I can. All right, so first thing we need to do is figure out the defensive control factor. That is very important. What a defensive control factor is, is when you roll the dice, you're going to check the blue and the green. You're going to add these, and that's going to get you a number 2 to 12. That's going to determine if you're reading off the offensive chart for that team or the opponent's defensive chart. Obviously, you want to read off the offensive chart because on the left you get better chances to score, and on the right there's a lot more punts and sacks and interceptions and things like that. So how you do that is you look at the offense compared to the defense. So we have an offense of E because that's terrible. It's probably the worst you can get. In fact, yes, E is the worst. And the Cincinnati defense over here is a is a is um, an A. So we have E on A. So if I look at my chart, all you do is compare E to A, and it says 2 to 6 9 to 12. So I wrote down 2 to 6, 9 to 12. What does that mean? That means when you roll these two dice on the start of a play, you add them, you get your number. If Tampa Bay has the ball, the only roll they can get to read off of their offensive side of the team card is an 8. Because 2 to, set, two to 6 is controlled by the defense, 9 to 12 is controlled by the defense, and 7 is your kind of your wild card which goes to the team with momentum, which defaults to the home team if there's no momentum. So the only way Tampa Bay could control in a seven if they gain momentum in the game. So right now, because we're in Cincinnati and they have momentum checked off, the only number I can get to read for Tampa Bay's offense is eight. Otherwise, we go to the Cincinnati defense. Now, for Cincinnati, their offense is B and the Buccaneer defense is E. So if I look at B on E, it's two to three. So what that means is when Cincinnati has the ball, only if they roll a two or a three will Tampa Bay's defense control that roll. So it should be a lot of reading off the Cincinnati page throughout this game, but you never know. This game gets kind of funny. All right, so I will do my best to, to play this as accurate as possible. Um, so we're going to go Cincinnati. We're going to uh, flip the coin. Cincinnati will be the white team. And Tampa Bay wins the toss, and they will get the ball first. So Tampa Bay gets the ball first in the first quarter. All right, now, Tampa Bay cannot return a kick for a touchdown or a punt for a touchdown. So when it comes to kickoff and punts, we don't really have to do anything. Cincinnati, Willie Shelby can return a kickoff for a touchdown. So I do have to roll for kickoffs if Tampa Bay somehow scores or kicks off in the second half. All right, so let's get things going first. I'll do my best to kind of explain what happens. And again, I'm kind of playing this the Dave way, so it's possible I'm going to either make a mistake or maybe kind of play some things a little different than how you might play in your game. All right, so let's roll the dice here. 
All right, so I have a 5 and 26. So the first thing I look at is a 5, and 2 to 6 is controlled by the defense. So we're going to go to the Cincinnati defense and a 26. Now, low numbers are bad for the offense. High numbers are good for the offense. So a 26 is a low number, and that's bad. So that's going to be a quarterback sack. Oh, and i got to do the time, too. Sorry. The time is the lowest and the highest of all the dice. So it's a 2 and a 6, so it's 8. So I go to my game clock and check off eight boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So at 12.20, this drive ends at 12.20. And what happens on the drive, it's the Cincinnati defense. A 26 is a quarterback sack. A quarterback sack is a momentum-changing event. So now I'm going to slide the momentum to the left one more because the home team will get that momentum. So Cincinnati has double momentum. That's as high as you can go. <clears throat> um, so they're controlling this game pretty well right now. So <clears throat> Cincinnati is going to get the ball. <clears throat> and let me see. So they can't return a punt. And Dave Green's punt cannot get blocked. So basically punts are just kind of automatic. So let me roll all the dice again. And we have... A timing of one and five is six. So six boxes, which is basically two minutes. So now it's 10.20. So Cincinnati had the ball for two minutes, so we're going to find out what happened in those two minutes. So an eight, that's going to be read off the Cincinnati, because only a two or a three will Tampa Bay control it if Cincinnati has the ball. So Cincinnati offense, a 13, and that's a fumble. So Cincinnati fumbles the ball. Now this is this is what can happen in this game. This is how Tampa Bay gave the Baltimore Colts fits. This is how Tampa Bay actually years ago beat the Steelers in this game by rolling low and getting a lot of turnovers. It happens in this game. That's what I that's what I enjoy about it. It's very unpredictable. Alrighty, so now so Cincinnati fumbles. <clears throat> Tampa Bay does have a chance to return a fumble for a touchdown. So we need to roll the dice and see if that's going to happen. So I'm looking for 11 or 13, and no, it's a 43. So there's no return for a touchdown, so it's just a fumble. On a fumble, the momentum goes to Tampa Bay. It comes back one. So Cincinnati still has control of the momentum, but it is getting closer to Tampa Bay. So Tampa Bay moves the momentum needle just a little bit. They get the ball in the first quarter, and... Because it's a turnover, they actually can now read automatically from their offensive side. So when I roll the dice for this play here, all right, I'm going to get my time, which is a one and a four, so that's five, so it's a short drive. So at 8.40, Tampa Bay has the ball, 8.40 left in the first quarter. So now I'm going to ignore the defensive control factor because it was a turnover. So I'm going to come over here to 21, which is awful. <laughs> and a 21 is an interception. So Spuria is picked off with an interception. Cincinnati can return this interception for a touchdown. So I need to roll the dice. And a 35 is too high, so it's not going to be returned. So it's going to be an interception for Cincinnati. That moves the momentum back towards Cincinnati's side. So they're back to plus two momentum and Cincinnati will have the ball. And again, they will read off their offensive chart because of the turnover. All right, so I'm gonna check my time. It's a seven, because it's one and six. It's always the highest and the lowest, seven. So we got 6.20 to go in the first quarter. So off the offensive side, a 41, that's a punt. So the Tampa defense holds firm, they punt, and now they uh, Pat McNally, or McElhinney, cannot get the punt blocked, and Tampa cannot return the punt. So basically, it's just a punt with average results. So no momentum change. Tampa with the ball in the first quarter, and they'll get the ball back here. So kind of normal gameplay right now. So we have two and six, so we have eight ticks. So now there's 340 to go in the first quarter. A seven goes to the team with the momentum. That is Cincinnati. So we're going to read off the Cincinnati defensive chart. A 63. Holy cow. This is where this game gets crazy, folks. A 63 off the defense is a touchdown run. Touchdown! So it's a TD run by the Buccaneers. Now, 
will determine who got the touchdown by rolling, but you can determine the length of the touchdown. I, I don't do that right now, so let's just find out who gets it. So a 43, and a 43 on a touchdown run is Ed Williams. So Williams carries that in, and the Buccaneers lead 6 to nothing. Let's kick the extra point. The extra point by Day Green is 11 to 54. No chance for a block. 11 to 54 at 23. And surprisingly, the extra point is good. So the Buccaneers lead this one 7 to nothing over the Bengals in Cincinnati. So now we're going to kick off. So there is a kickoff return now. So I need, I'm going to roll this first. I need an 11. And I got a 41. So, so the kickoff is not returned for a touchdown. So it's just going to be Cincinnati ball. Since Tampa scored on the next line, I moved the momentum back towards Tampa Bay a little bit. It's still controlled by Cincinnati. But now it's coming back towards Tampa. All right. So let's roll the dice. So we have seven for timing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So minute 20 to go in the first quarter. A seven is going to be read off the Cincinnati offense and a 24 again horrible horrible rolls 24 for Cincinnati and that's a quarterback sack so they sack Anderson that's a momentum changing play so the momentum is now at zero but again zero is still controlled by the home team but it's getting close to Tampa so Tampa Bay with the sack and they will have to punt now his punt cannot be blocked. They cannot return the punt. So basically, it's just a punt, and Tampa has the ball. So we roll for the next play. Now, a quarterback sack, I don't believe that you read off of... Nope, it's just a sack. It's just a normal play. So let's just roll the dice here. All righty. So we have three and six. We have nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is going to bleed into the second quarter at 1320 so at the end of one it's Tampa Bay seven and Cincinnati nothing so we're in the second quarter Tampa Bay with the ball the 10 is gonna read off the Cincinnati defense a 35 is a punt so Cincinnati holds Tampa has to punt now the punt cannot be blocked and cannot be returned so it's just a standard play Okay, so now we have 1 and 6, so it's 7 off the clock. So now we have 11 minutes to play. Cincinnati with the ball, and 11 minutes to go and a half. So we have a 1, uh, we already did the time. A 9 is going to be Cincinnati, and a 13, remember, low is bad. Basically anything 11 to 16 to turn over. That's a fumble. So Cincinnati has two fumbles now. So Cincinnati fumbles. It can be returned, so we're going to check for the return. Nope, no return. So Tampa Bay ball. However, the momentum comes one towards Tampa Bay, and now the Buccaneers. So they had a quarterback sack. After a touchdown, they had a sack and a fumble, and now they have the momentum. Okay. So Tampa Bay with the ball and momentum, and because of the turnover, they're going to read off of their home card. All right, so we ignore the defensive control because we know it's going to the offense. We have seven for timing because it's a one and a six. So we get 8.40 to play in the half. And a 41 is a punt. So they get the fumble, but they can't convert, so they're going to punt it away. And no punt return, no punt block, so it's basically just kind of is what it is. All right, so now... It's going to be a six for timing because it's a one and a five. So Cincinnati with the ball, six forty to play in the half. A six is going to be read off of the Cincinnati offense because again we it's going to be a two or a three for Tampa defense to control it. And a forty-five. And a forty-five is going to be a key reception. Okay, so a key reception. So what we need to do on a key reception is we need to roll to see who's going to. Take the key reception and then see what the outcome's gonna be. So let's roll the dice here. And 32 is going to be booby clock. So booby clock, the ball is thrown to booby clock. Now we look at what he's got here. A 41, 
booby clock to 41, and it passes incomplete, and they will have to punt. So key reception is no good, and that's a punt. <coughs> and a key reception is also a momentum-changing play. So if you can believe it, Tampa Bay now has double momentum here in Cincinnati. So a key reception is a um, momentum-changing play, and let's see, first down result. No, blah, 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 blah. okay, no. I want to see if that's an offensive chart. I don't think it is, unless you make it. Okay, so if the drive continues, then you could roll off the offensive chart. But you didn't make it, so it's going to just be Tampa ball. All right, so after the punt. So, again, there's no punt block or return, so it's Tampa ball. And now we have eight for timing. So with four minutes to go in the half, Tampa ball. And eight is going to be red off the Cincinnati defense. 55, though, high is good. And we got a field goal attempt for the Buccaneers. Now, here is, if you listen to the show today, uh, Digital to Dice, episode 169, we talked about this particular rule in the, in the book. The rule says to roll the dice if it's between the, the rating of 11 to 66, if it's within the range, it's good. But then it goes on to talk about the length of the kick, and um, it can't exceed the, the longest field goal for the kicker. So that's where it comes in. So if the kick is good, but I calculate the distance to be longer than his <clears throat> allotted distance, is it no good at that point? Or do I just bring it down to say whatever his longest is, that's what it was? I don't have to worry about it because his long is, no, is N-A. It doesn't mean anything. So it so doesn't matter what the length of the field goal is, it's still going to be good or bad. So he rolls a 55. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, yes. A, um, oh, no, I haven't rolled a field goal yet because that was the play. All right, so I got to go for the field goal attempt now. So 11 to 54 for green. Oh, I need to roll them all, actually. And a 52 is, I'm sorry, 11 to 43, so the kick is no good. 11 to 43, so the field goal attempt is no good. And if you miss a field goal, that's a momentum-changing play. So the momentum swings back to Cincinnati. Tampa Bay still has momentum, but it's swinging back to Cincinnati, and they will get the ball back after the missed field goal. Now, the field goal length, it's 10, 14, and 7. So it was a 31-yard field goal that he missed well within his range, but he missed it anyway because he's, he's David Green of the 76 Buccaneers. <laughs> you don't hit field goals. All righty, so Cincinnati ball <clears throat> after the missed field goal. And we have a 3 and a 5 for 8. So now it's a minute 20 to go in the half. An 8 is going to be read off the of Cincinnati offense. A 45 is another key reception. So we have another key reception for Cincinnati to try to keep the drive going or potentially get a touchdown. So let's roll the dice on the key reception, which we go to the receiver. A 32. A 32 is going to be Booby Clark again. Booby Clark a 23. And that's going to be another punt. So they fail on the pass, on the key reception. It goes to the ground. The momentum swings back to Tampa Bay. And we're going to see if they have any time left. So they got to punt it away. Tampa gets the ball after the punt. And we have, oh, uh, let's hope time runs out because this is going to be bad. Uh, we have six. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, so the time runs out. So that's the end of the half. So at the end of the first half, it's still... Tampa 7 and Cincinnati nothing. So you can see kind of how Tampa Bay's hanging in these games. You know, I'm not making this up. This is how it happens. All right, so the start of the third quarter, momentum goes back to zero when, unless there's a 21-point lead, which is not. So momentum goes back to zero, which means home team has advantage. Cincinnati's going to get the ball because Tampa got the ball in the first half. All right, so we do have a kickoff return. We need to check. And nope, no kickoff return. It's got to be an 11, and then under 50, uh, 52 or less, but it's a 61, so it's no good. All right, so Cincinnati ball. Let's roll for the play. So we have 1 and 6 for time. That's 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 12, 40 to go in the third. Anderson and the Bengals are being shut out by the Buccaneers. A 7, so that's going to go to whoever has the momentum, which is Cincinnati, because it's zero momentum. Goes to the home team. 
So we got a 51, and a 51 is a field goal attempt. All righty, so moving in now is Chris Barr to attempt the field goal to try to get Cincinnati on the board. 11 to 41, it's a 52, and he missed it as well. So Barr misses the field goal, no good. And that's a momentum-changing play. It goes back to Tampa Bay, momentum, and they now get the ball here in the third quarter. What can you say? <laughs> if Tampa wins this, I'm gonna, I can't believe I'm recording it. <laughs> But at least I'll have evidence, and then we can check to see if I played it right. All righty, so after the punt, Tampa gets, oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, my. I'm, I'm just going to say, oh, my. Seven off the clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And with 10.20 left in the third quarter, a five is read off the Cincinnati. It's a 65. Touchdown pass. So Tampa Bay with a touchdown pass on their first possession of the third quarter. Let's see who got the pass. A 16 for Tampa Bay. And that's going to be Owens. So Morris Owens with the touchdown catch. And it's 13 to nothing. In comes Dave Green, 11 to 54. And that is good. So the extra point is good. So Tampa Bay. Leads 14 nothing over Cincinnati. Still a long way to go. Long way to go. All right, let's check the kickoff for Willie Shelby. No, he does not return it. So let's go right to the next play. All right, so we have a one and a five for six. So 8.20 to go. So Tampa Bay with that score has double momentum. But Cincinnati's ball. And let's see what they did on this drive. So a three, oh no, a three will come off of the Tampa defense because only a two or a three can Tampa defense affect this play. A 25 on Tampa defense is a punt. So Cincinnati is getting booze here at Riverfront Stadium as they kick it away. So Tampa will get the ball back here in the third quarter. Again, no block on a punt, no return for a punt, so it's just a standard punt. Um, now, if there was a chance for a punt, I'd have to roll on McAnally's card here to see if there was a return because you don't always get a return even though you get a chance for a punt return. But on this one here, we don't have to worry about that because there's no return. All right, so Tampa ball, a seven comes off the clock. Oh, this is going to be terrible, though. Seven. So six minutes to go in the third. A 12 is read off of Cincinnati, and a 13 is going to be a fumble. So Buccaneers fumble the ball. Cincinnati does have a fumble return, and it needs to be 11 to 13. It's a 63, so they do not return the fumble, but they get the turnover. Momentum slides back to Cincinnati's way. Still Tampa Bay momentum, but it's coming back. And so, Cincinnati ball. So we have a 7 on the timing, because it's a 1 and a 6. 340 to play in the third. A seven. Now, a seven is going to come off a of Tampa defense because they have the momentum. A seven goes to momentum. So a 55 on the defense is actually a touchdown run. So Cincinnati's on the board with a touchdown run, and it's going to be Booby Clark on the run. So Clark gets Cincinnati on the board. Let's check for the extra point 11 to 63. 66, he missed the kick. <laughs> and the kick by Barr is no good. So he's missed a field goal, and now an extra point. And so it's 14 to 6, Tampa Bay. Ooh, boy. All right. So the momentum swings back to the middle now with the touchdown. So with it being at zero, the momentum now goes back to Cincinnati. Uh, let's see here. So now we have tw uh, seven off the clock. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Minute 20 to go in the third. Tampa ball. The 12 says read off the Cincinnati defense. A 61 ooh, is a field goal attempt. Almost another touchdown. So they're going to bring in Dave Green for the kick. The kick is up, and the kick is good. And Tampa Bay... 
now leads 17 to 6. And that kick, in case you were wondering, was 3, 4, 10, 27 yards. Eh, chip shot, 27 yards, basically. <clears throat> so now, the momentum still say it stays with Cincinnati because on a field goal, if you hit a field goal, you got to change the, you got to take the lead or tie the game. But they didn't. They're still in the lead, so that momentum stays the same. Cincinnati gets the kickoff. The kickoff. Uh oh. Uh oh. And eleven will be Shelby and a f eleven of fifty-two with the fifty-one. He returns the kickoff for a touchdown. Willie Shelby goes all the way on the kickoff for the touchdown. So we're gonna put that at one minute. And it's going to be a kickoff return TD. Wow. You saw that live here, folks. Well, not live, but you saw you saw it here. Um, oh, it looks like I'm running out of time. So I'm going to have to, uh, I'm, going to I'm going to end it right here with the extra point, and I'll be back with the rest of the game in a different video because I guess I have only so much time on here. So let's check the extra point by bar. It's good. So it's now with that kickoff return. It's 17 to 13 Tampa Bay, and we'll come back with the, uh, Highlight with the fourth quarter here and see what can happen in just a minute. All right, so we're back now. I got a fresh, fresh time off the clock. I guess I only got so much time on this camera for the video. But as you remember, we ended off with um, a kickoff return by Willie Shelby, which is very rare, but it's kind of cool that you guys saw that. So it's now 17 to 13. Tampa Bay is still beating Cincinnati. And Cincinnati will kick off here. And this should actually wrap around to the fourth quarter. Uh, and it does. All right, so the momentum is going to come back over here. So Cincinnati has momentum. Tampa Bay with the ball. And we have seven off the clock. So in the fourth quarter, we have 13.40 to play. And it's now 17.30. So we had a crazy, <clears throat> crazy period here. So Tampa led... 7 nothing at the half. They got 7 and 10. So they got 10. They got 10 in that third. And Cincinnati got 13. So it's 17 to 13. Yeah, so Cincinnati got a TD run and a kickoff return, but they missed the point. So that was a wild 23 points in that third quarter. That was crazy. All right, so 17 to 13, Tampa Bay, and they're going to take this ball here after the um, kickoff. And what do we got? So we have two and a five, so we have seven. Oh, I already did that. So 13, 40 to go. I've already done the timing. So it's going to be seven, so it's going to come off of Cincinnati because they stole the momentum. But see how the momentum can switch here? You talk about, I don't know if you can see this at all, but momentum, how it's like Cincinnati, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay, Cincinnati. The momentum goes back and forth, so that's kind of why it's called momentum football. So it's going to be off of the defense here, and the 24 is a quarterback sack. So they sack Spurrier. That's a momentum change in play, so now it's all the way to the left. So Cincinnati in full control with the momentum, and the Buccaneers are going to have to kick this one away. So again, there's no punt return, so we just go right into the next play. And so we're going to get Six off the clock, which is two minutes. So 11.40 to play. And eight is going to be read off the Cincinnati offense. And a 21 is going to be an interception. They trail by four. And Anderson is picked off. So they got a fumble, two fumbles, and an interception. Three turnovers. I do find that the, the turnovers... Um, Run a little hot in this game, probably because of the dice. <laughs> if you roll low, you're in trouble. So it's an interception. They cannot return it for a touchdown. So it's just going to be Tampa Bay ball. We're going to move the momentum slightly back towards Tampa. And so they will take over, trying to trying to kill some clock here in Cincinnati as they look for their first win. And they're not going to get much clock at all, and they're going to, that's going to be bad for them. So six. So 9.40 to play. We're going to read off of Cincinnati's defense. And a 15 is an interception. So they get it right. Oh, I'm sorry. Because it's a turnover, we go to Tampa. But a 15 is still an interception, no matter how you slice it. So because they got the turnover, we read off the offense automatically. So it's going to be another interception. They can return this for, an, for a touchdown. 
No, but we need low numbers, and that's not going to work. So they did not return it for a touchdown. But Cincinnati, with the ball, in great shape. They're going to read off of their offense no matter what after the interception. So Anderson brings his troops out. Six off the clock. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven forty to play. We're halfway through the fourth quarter. Still 17-13 Tampa Bay here in Cincinnati. So we're going to look here. And we got off the because it's the turnover automatically over here. A 42 is a key penalty. So a key penalty goes to the team with momentum. And it's going to be Cincinnati. So if it's on the defense, we get a free dice roll. We read off the offensive team chart no matter what. And we're going to take the lowest two die from the roll. And it's a momentum change in play. We can't go any further on momentum. So Cincinnati, with a key penalty, keeps the drive alive. So now we're going to roll again off the offense and take the two lowest dice. So we got a two and a three, so that's going to be a five. So six minutes to play after the penalty. A 33, and they can't do anything with it, and they have to punt. <clears throat> now, I'm thinking about going for it, because you can go for it here if you're trailing by 8 or less. Or less. So they are trailing by 8 or less. So they're going to go for it with 6 minutes left, down by 4. All right, so let's go for the, instead of a punt, we're going to go for it. And, oh, would you believe this? It's off the Tampa Bay chart. And um, a 56 is a touchdown run. So they convert here. So if I go for it here, it roll for all dice, blah, blah, blah. Yep, a touchdown run. So they got it. So you needed to get a touchdown for anything really to happen, and they got it. So they go for it on fourth down. And so on fourth down, they get a TD run right off the card. They're 56 off the Tampa cards, a TD run. So they march down the field, and it's going to be Ken Anderson on the sneak. So Ken Anderson sneaks this in to make it 1917. Bar for the kick, and the bar's kick is good. So it's now 20 to 17 Cincinnati's. Tampa Bay has blown. Another late lead. They blew one against the Colts. They blew a huge one against the Chargers. And now leading 17-13, they give up a fourth down to Ken Anderson and the Bengals. So they still kick off. There's still time. There's still time. And so we're going to get seven off the clock. So 3.40 to play. Tampa ball. 3.40 to play. Can Spuria pull out any magic? A six. Off the defense, a 56 is a field goal attempt, a chance to tie the game. David Green comes in with 340 to play for the Buccaneers. Can he tie this one up? The kick is up, and it is perfect. Good. And that's basically a 5, 6, 7, 8, 25 yards. That was a really, really easy one. So the kick is good, and the game is tied at 20 to 20. And I think... If you tie the game, no, you have to take the lead to get the momentum to change. So they didn't they didn't get the lead, so it's tied. So Cincinnati will get the kickoff. Remember, they already have a kickoff return. This time they don't. Alrighty, so and I like to roll again, because I like to look for the first one there. Maybe you're supposed to stick with the same roll in the kickoff, but I like to do everything separate. So here's my kickoff. No, then I'm gonna I'm gonna re-roll for my play. That's just kind of how I do it. Maybe you're supposed to leave the dice there after the kickoff. <clears throat> but whatever. Alright, so now we have um, a three. So Buccaneer defense will control this. We have six off the clock. So a minute forty left in a tie game. Off the Tampa Bay defense, a 45 is a field goal try. So in comes Chris Barr with a minute 40 left to try to give Cincinnati the lead. The kick is 54. It is no good. 11 to 41. It is no good. And Barr misses the kick, and that's a momentum-changing play. Still going to be Cincinnati momentum, but it is what it is. So now Tampa will take the ball over. Will they have any time left at all? Seven. One, two, three, four, five. No, time runs out. So we're going to go to overtime. 
my first overtime game. Hopefully, hopefully I don't run out of camera time. All right, my first overtime. So again, um, home and white. And Cincinnati, nope, Tampa Bay is going to get the ball. So here in overtime, Tampa Bay gets the ball. I think you reset momentum. I, I think so in overtime. So we're going to reset the momentum. So it's still going to be Cincinnati momentum. And Tampa Bay will have the ball here in overtime. First score wins in 76. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be off the Cincinnati chart. There's going to be eight minutes off. 12-20. If we read off the Cincinnati defense, a touchdown run, and Tampa Bay has won the game. And it was Ed Williams going in on the run, and in overtime, the Buccaneers win 20-20. to So that's momentum football. It is so fun. It really is. I know they shouldn't. The Bengals are 10-4. and four. They'd never lose at a Bucks at home. But again, you talk about the fun factor, it's there. It really is. And you can see how the dice rolls. You, you roll low. I mean, what do we got? One, two, three, three turnovers. And they also had a missed field goal, two missed field goals, and a missed extra point. So that's what cost Cincinnati the game was the missed kicks, which happens in 76. So I need to put in my, my final scoring here. So it was... 17-13, and then we ended up at 20-20, to -20. so Cincinnati got 7 on the uh, the fourth down run, and Tampa Bay just got the one field goal, I think, to tie it. Yep, so they got 3 and 7, and in overtime, Tampa gets 6 and 26-20, to -20. so Tampa wins. That's a win. That's our first win of the season for the Buccaneers. Yay! <laughs> so anyway... Uh, I'm Dave. That's Momentum Football. Um, kind of raw cards and dice here in Studio A. And uh, we'll talk to everybody later. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hopefully I played everything right. If not, I had fun, and that's what matters. Play it your game, your way. I'm Dave from Studio A. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.